All right, welcome to Rat Rod Drums. I'm going to give you a quick tour here of what we do. Uh, first of all, we get our bamboo. It comes in 4 by 8 sheets. Um, that gets cut down and sent to our shell builder, who is Brady Falk of BF Drum Shells. We work together in combination to get all those shells made. Once that process is done, we'll come out in this way. Um, the raw shells will come into the shop. We put them on our benches here by order, what we have done. And then once we do that, the shell gets all sanded and ready for prep, which would be the next step would be our, our staining and finishing, which is over here. Here's some shells in process for a customer now. That's a blood red stain. And then that's just the dye part of it. Mm -hmm. Then over here, we'll come over to what we do is put on clear coat. This will be a clear satin finish. All our finishes are all water-based. And the shells are all, pretty much everything is green that we do yeah. up to this point. So there's no caustic fumes or anything. It's easy cleanup and it's really easy on the environment. Are you working mostly on special orders these days? I it's mean, all it's, special it's order. all special orders. It's order, all yeah. consumer to consumer right now. We don't have any dealers. We're lucky that we don't have to. We've probably got a year and a half worth of work right now. Yeah. Starting with what we do. How long does it take to start to finish on a on an average drum kit? Once we get the shell, shells take about two weeks to make because the gluing process. Mm -hmm. And what happens is that bamboo is a grass, so it absorbs a lot of the glue and all that water weight's got to come off. One of the first shells we did for a bass drum actually lost about three pounds overnight just in glue weight from the, you know, from the glue drying. Mm -hmm. um, once we get that in, you know, it depends on the finishes. We can usually stain in a day. Depends on our top coat, you're gonna probably need at least two, three weeks till it all cures. So it's a good, hard, solid finish, and that's with all the sanding and prep work. Uh, usually these shells will probably get 10 to 15 coats of a top coat. Mm -hmm. And then if it's a gloss, these are all satin, that takes more time. So there's a lot of buffing involved after that to bring out that shine. Yeah. And your hardware then? You get to the hardware then? All our the hardware we do here next door with uh, Brian Fox, a Fox machine. Um, Brian does all our lugs. Here's a couple samples of what he does. These are all, all solid brass, with it, which is a hex type. And then these are all aircraft aluminum. Hmm. So it's a very low mass on the shell. So what's, what's his background? How does he know how to do all this uh, aircraft Brian's aluminum stuff? Dad was actually in the machine business. Yeah. And then Brian was a big drummer in the 80s in L.A. Band Silent Rage and White Tiger. Mm -hmm. So he has a huge drumming brat background. And you know, we met up through a friend. And we just got into making all our shells, yeah. all our hardware. So once the once the shells are done, do you order the hardware piece by, set by set, or yeah? Because a lot okay. of it's custom. Some guys want them powder coated, or they'll maybe want them. You know, like this is solid brass. It's a real heavy mm -hmm. material to use, but um, a lot of it's all made to order. So how long how long does it take for him to turn around an average? Oh, probably two to three weeks. Okay, it'll take him to do. It. So start to finish on a kit. I call you today and say I want you to make this kit. Right now, I'm, probably eight to ten weeks. Yeah, and that's for, from you know, getting it raw, built, yeah. ready out the door. And you have a waiting list, presumably, so yes, it's, it's eight to ten weeks from you can actually yeah. start working. That's so when I can kid, start right? working, and we're probably right at that point nine months right now. Yeah. To get everything ready. Do you, have a, do you have a staff, or are you at... It's me, one-man <laughs> show right now. I have a friend that comes in once in a while, yeah. which is a great help, but, you know, everything passes through my hands, which is important. My yeah. name goes on it, and I want it to be the best, you know, that, that's out there. Tell us about the name. What's where Rat Rod Drums. Um, that came up, I was... You know, looking at a Rat Rod magazine, and I looked like the raw um, feel of everything. Yeah. So that's how I got. That's how I came up with that. Yeah. How long have you been making drums? Uh, about two years now. Yeah. How'd you get into it? Reading in a magazine again. I've been a drummer since I was the age of five. Yeah. And I really wanted to get into it, and make my own kit. Once I started looking at pricing, I'm like, you know, there's got to be a cheaper way to do it. Yeah. And I just started reading everything I could, videos, and I just jumped into it. Did you have some background? No, a lot of woodworking background. Yeah, so, you, so, so you were helped. not completely new exactly. to this game. And I knew what I wanted, right. you know, and that's how I came up with the idea. Uh, Lambu, who's our bamboo manufacturer who supplies all our material, have been a great help too. Um, yeah. That came about through a friend where Lambu wanted to make drums and, you know, I had a connection and we just did that. So it took about a year for us to really get research and development with the, the plies that we use, you know, the, the, how it's cut, the thinness and how yeah. it's bent because no one did it before. Are you guys the first to make a bamboo drum We kit, are the first to make a, there's been bamboo out there, yeah. you know, one or two snare drums, but we were the first to do a whole kit yeah. out of solid ply bamboo. Uh, DW, DW Drums did a whole thing, excuse me, um, where they did a solid ply maple with outside and inside bamboo. 
Oh, I see. Okay. So that was, but we we're the first to do solid ply engineered bamboo. And you said Lambu wanted to get into that, so that's sort of a yeah. partnership made in uh, it was perfect. drum heaven. And how they started is they went, uh, Fender Custom Shops approached them for the 60th anniversary Telecaster. Yeah. So they did a whole 60th anniversary Tele out of the bamboo, or out of Lambu. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, I had a friend that was in there and said, let's try drums. Yeah. So it took about a, I, it took about, I told them to take a year, and I did it in eight months. Wow start to finish and that was with all the research and development because like I said there's no books you could go to and say well and here's how it is yeah so there's a lot of ply playing with and bearing edges you know to get the heads right and then Brian developed the hardware with me and that was you know that was the biggest part of it once we had that down we could really fine tune everything right so there's been some tinkering with a learning curve sort Definitely. of with the, with the bamboo there's a lot of shells that, we, that, are, <laughs> that are put away because of, you know, you had to. It was, right. you know, it was just researching it. And then we, we really launched on last May at the Chicago Drum Show. Yeah. And that's where it really took off. Yeah. And people, you know, took notice of it. And it was great. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, are you going to try and build the business? I mean, you're going to hire definitely. some people and, and get to definitely. getting some distribution and getting in shops? Yeah. Is that the goal? You know, I want to keep it. I don't want it to become a cookie cutter drum company. Right. You know, I want to keep the hands on. And the high quality and the high standards that we have—that's really important to me. But there's—is there room in the market for a? There is for a handcrafted drum company there to is. step in and. I think about custom drum companies take about six percent of the drum market right now. Yeah. You know, there's some great builders out there doing a lot of great things. You know, yeah. and we all learn from each other, and that, those are resources. So yeah, this company is growing really quick, and you know, we're trying to get that all in place right now. And is bamboo a big part of that? Is that part yeah. of what makes you guys unique? It is. Yeah. You know, it's the tone and everything is different. How do they sound? What do they sound like? It's a, it's a mellow sound. It's a very um, warm, the tuning range on them, you know, for drummers, they either, most drums have a sweet spot, ours mm -hmm. are high to low, and it's everything in between. Yeah. In live, they're amazing. Are they louder, quieter? They probably the have a more of a loud projection. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a, it's a very dense, well, it's a grass. Right. But when you compare it to maple and birch, there's a lot of ups and downs in birch and maple. Mm -hmm. Bamboo is pretty much the same tonal range all the way across. Yeah. Which right. there's a lot of overtones are not there. Yeah. So it keeps it all very standard, very nice to do. Great. Easy to work with. Yeah. Well, thank you, Paul. Good luck. Thank you. I appreciate your time.